from tracks to new drivers and driver swaps. We got it all covered on this look at what everything that's new in NASCAR 2021 season. Welcome into On The Pedal. As always, my name is Cameron Simpson and what a good video we have coming for you. I just want to mention before we get into today's video that the Daytona Weeks, Speed Weeks, it's coming up. The Clash is right after the Super Bowl, Tuesday the 9th, so I have tons of videos for that week. Of course, the Daytona 500, my first review video with The Clash and so much coming up in the next few weeks. You've got to stick with this channel. So if you're a NASCAR fan, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to get updated with the up-to-the-minute NASCAR news, NASCAR coverage, and everything motorsports. It's on this channel, as well as if you're a football fan, we got Super Bowl coverage this week as well. But we're also on the road to 50 subscribers. We have 43. That means we are seven away from 50 subscribers. And what, that's just awesome, you know? Let's everyone get a round of applause here for yourselves. We are seven subscribers away from 50. If you are part of this channel of Cameron Simpson's sporting coverage, the Sports Talk family, the On the Pedal family, if you're part of it, welcome. We're so happy to have you. These 43 of you, we're going to keep building upon it. But today we're going to look at every little thing that's coming to NASCAR in 2021. I really wish TV networks would do this and more people would give me all the new things coming to NASCAR in 2021. Because before I started this channel, I didn't really pay too much attention to all the little details, all the little news, all the team reports and cover it. But now that I do, I know what's new in 2021 and I did a little dive in myself to find all the little things and we will get into all of that right now. Let's start this year. There are three new NASCAR tracks coming to schedule. We remember way back uh, NASCAR unveiled their giant new schedule. If you did not see that video where I reacted to each racetrack on the schedule, I went through each track on the schedule. I really recommend go checking that out. I'll, I'll link it right there on the card above. Anyway, there are three new tracks right now on the NASCAR schedule. We have the Circuit of Americas, which has never been run by Xfinity, by Cup. Nobody's ever ran it, so that is a new one. Nashville has been ran before in a long time ago. All three NASCAR series will be heading to Nashville this year to run their races to trucks, the Xfinity, and the Cups. They'll hit that truck. And the Indianapolis Road Course, which for the first time will be ran by the Cup Series drivers again. First time that this that the Cup Series, Xfinity Series went there last year. So those are our three main brand new racetracks. I'm excited for all three of them. Nashville, I know a lot of people are giving Nashville some not wanting that Nashville. I'm excited for it. It's a new racetrack. I want to see it. I know it's a mile and a half, but still, it's a new racetrack. It's a new ground for NASCAR, and I really just want to see. Nashville could be a very good market for NASCAR, and even if, if that means... This track does really well. We also have the fairgrounds that we can go to. Look at we have two races in Nashville. Nashville fans will be so happy, and I think that's a really good idea to have. All right, now let's go to uh, the next one, which I, of course I'm skeptical about, and it's Bristol Dirt. And now if you've watched that reaction to the whole schedule, I really do recommend it because you'll get a way more in-depth initial reaction. But if you also missed the video I made just the other day, I'll link that up and I'll put it in the description down below as well, where I reacted to more news about Bristol Dirt. Now we're learning now that Bristol Dirt is going to be ran 250 laps. All three series are going to run there. And I'm just not so thrilled about Bristol Dirt because they're taking the spring race, which was generally a Bristol spring day race you know it didn't draw in the full fans and they want as much fans as they get there and they just want as much fans even though we're in a global pandemic 
and you can't pack the house full. But that's what they want. They want as much fans as they can get and as quickly as they can get them. And even though we're in a global pandemic here, and they're not going to be able to, they might pack the stands full. Um, I don't think they will in March, but by the end of the year, we'll see some 100% capacities. I'm, my fingers are crossed. But I think that NASCAR knows that Bristol, spring, in the future, they want to test. I think this is testing ground for them. You know, perfect opportunity. But I'm not looking forward to it at all. Bristol's my favorite racetrack. If any of you live in the Bristol area, I just go to the spring race, right? Nah, just kidding with you guys. But yeah, I'm just not happy about that. The All-Star Race also moved to Texas. We talked on this in another video as well. But the All-Star Race moved to Texas. And what this means is All-Star Race is going to be pretty boring. Texas is generally an extremely boring racetrack, but this was part of the deal to get Coda on the schedule, which is the Circuit of the Americas. So part of the deal to get Circuit of Americas on the, the schedule, but... To get Circuit of Americas on the schedule, we had to get rid of an extremely good racetrack for the All-Star Race, which was Bristol. That was a great All-Star Race. I didn't expect that to happen. Honestly, I expected the All-Star Race to move to Texas. wasn't expecting that, but it makes total sense now, and I should have seen that coming. I am not looking forward to Texas being the All-Star Race. I think it will be boring, but you have to understand, NASCAR uses the All-Star Race in general as an extremely experimental race right they use it for experiment to like they experiment the sides sponsors on the door which now we've learned nascar is going to use those for a lot longer boo they use so many different things that they use in the future and now we have a new race car next year well, who knows what experiments might come in from texas i don't want to see te texas completely abolished from the schedule just because the racing is getting a tad better so I will say extremely optimistic racing in Texas is actually doing pretty good this year. We have not just one, but two Darlington races, and they're going to flip-flop throwback weekends. So your Fox Darlington race, which will be in the spring, you will have some throwback. I don't like this decision at all. I really wish NASCAR would keep throwback weekend on Labor Day weekend. It makes a ton more sense to have throwback weekend that weekend and just Get in the throwback style, right? I liked having that. It is what it is. We don't have it. But I still wish we did because it just makes more sense to me. I know I'm sitting here on the sense train. Like, this makes more sense to me. Blah, 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 blah. But I just think that it is where we are right now in NASCAR. We need to know, like, why you do all these things. And is it to appeal to broadcasters? Maybe not, but I just don't like the whole idea of having two Darlington races flip-flop the date. I just like the throwback in September, especially to start the playoffs. I don't think NASCAR liked that maybe as much just because it starts the playoffs, and that's like the best of the best. They want all attention on them and not on throwback, and I think that's why we get this flip-flop of a date. I don't know. I like Throwback Weekend. I like how NBC did it. It is what it is. And as we uh, kind of touched on, there are seven road courses this season. This is a pretty big deal. Seven road courses. We start with the Daytona road course. It's going to be ran in the Clash. It's also going to have a regular season date. Yeah, that's a big bomb, right? After I saw the Daytona road course, I, didn't ex I expected to see it come back. But then... I was, I just didn't expect it to see it come back in full, fledged, like, regular season. Of course, we have your regular walk-ins, but Sonoma will be back. We have the Roval in the playoffs, plus the Road America, Circuit of the Americas, etc., etc., etc. A ton of new road courses coming to the schedule next year. And I can tell you right now, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not looking forward to all these road courses, but I'm not a NASCAR executive. I'm not the one doing all this. I'm not the biggest road course fan, and I'm going to be extremely skeptical on the road courses until I see them. We have new teams this year, including Trackhouse and Live Fast Plus 2311. These are three new NASCAR teams, and we've heard the stories of them. I've made videos on all these new teams, but it is extremely awesome to see that NASCAR is getting more attention, more new teams in a bigger field. It's really starting to, NASCAR's starting to turn around now. We're getting this new car in NASCAR, and 
what this new car is going to do, if you haven't known, and if you just don't pay attention to NASCAR, that's fine. It is going to be cheaper, and these team owners are going to like want to extremely get into the sport now that want to get in the sport but couldn't afford it. They get in the sport now, they can afford it, and it's going to be an extremely a better fashion. It will be really good for them. NASCAR is really dipping their toes to get big names like Michael Jordan into NASCAR with Bubba Wallace in 2311 races. Stick tuned till Wednesday for a video about my predictions on the 2021 NASCAR season, but that's in the future there. Bubba Wallace is a good driver, and he should be able to do something that most drivers aren't able to do, and I think that is win in their first season with a new team. You know, I like Bubba Wallace, and I like Michael Jordan compared together. I like that that team's going to be backed by Joe Goodrayson. The other two teams here, Trackhouse. I think they're waiting until the new car comes in, and it's cheaper to get good equipment. Right, I think that's what track house racing is waiting for. Uh, Daniel Suarez and that team, I think that's really what they're here for. One year, one off season for them, in my opinion, is going to be this year. Like They're opening season, get Daniel Suarez in the mood, and then make Daniel go out there and perform to the top of his ability. Um, of course, Live Fast, I think, is doing the same exact thing. They got, a, they got veteran drivers who are running this team, but I think they have to sit it out for a year. You know, you have drivers who have been in this situation on that team as well. So they're just going to sit it out for a year. So let's talk about driver um, driver changes here and crew chief changes slightly as well, the big ones. Uh, who's going to be driving what this year? It's just so you know where your favorite driver is going. For the 2311 racing with the number 23, Bubba Wallace will be driving for Michael Jordan, as I just mentioned. Eric Jones is going to go to Bubba Wallace's former ride, the 43 car. I'm hoping Eric can do pretty good in that car. I just, I'm not so confident. Christopher Bell will be taking the 20, which was Eric Jones's ride. Um, Ross Chastain will take the 42 car, which was Matt Kenseth for a while, and now Matt Kenseth is back in retirement. How long before he comes back out of retirement, right? Matt likes to do that. He likes to go in retirement and then come right back out of it. Uh, Chris, um, Kyle Larson will be going to the number five car, which we just got up. We just got a awesome paint scheme for that, but he'll be heading there to run for Rick Hendrick. Daniel Suarez to the 99, track house racing. We just talked about that. BJ McLeod to the 78, which is like fast racing car. And Chase Briscoe will take over for Clint Boyer in the four team car this season. Finally, Kyle Busch will have Ben B. Shore as his crew chief. Christopher Bell will have Adam Stevens. So those are your big, big boy changes this year. <coughs> Whoa. Excuse me. But those are your, all your big, big changes for the season. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're getting ready for next season, because I am so excited for NASCAR. To be back. I'm so excited to just buckle up, get in the seat, and bring back some nice, awesome NASCAR content. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and hit that subscribe button. And everyone in New England, if you live in New England and watch this content, we're getting like 14 inches of snow. It's uh, pretty snowy out right now, so stay safe. All right, guys, be safe out there. And you know, if you want a glimpse of the snow, I'll watch what I'm about to do for you. Yeah, you, but there is a driveway. Um, if you guys don't see snow a lot, there you go. I just gave you some. But anyway, seriously, everyone stay safe and uh, throughout the storm. Lots of snow coming. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as I said, drop. Have a great day, everybody.